Since the dawn of social media, cloud chasing has been walking hand in hand, step by step, and just being a menace to everyone involved. But I wouldn't say it's something new to humanity. Let's be honest, humans have been doing dumb stuff for dumb things for a long time. I'm pretty sure old Oonga Boonga cavemen were slapping mammoths in front of their tribe members just to get a few seconds of fame and whatnot. And the driving force for these uh, cloud chasing endeavors is just avoiding a minimum wage job, working some dead nine to five job that will not pay you as much. I want sex one summer. I'm Pickle Rick! What will I do? They see other people are doing these dumb things online and hey, they're making bank, might as well. I mean, you have the NPC streamers, you have the nuisance streamers, and of course, you have the people who are just straight up putting their life on the line for content that just, it's not worth it. Let's go with exhibit A. This streamer right here decided that it would be a good idea to pitch a tent during Hurricane Helene. Yes, that hurricane that was happening about a month ago in Florida. Lots of people died, 160. And this person decided to just, hey, let's get that clout. As we could see, the video starts off strong with the streamer having a little tug of war with Casper the Friendly Ghost. It's just insane that he decided not only to do it in the middle of the hurricane, as you can see, it's starting, the winds are picking up, an underpass, an underpass where the wind will be amplified and the water is gonna be super high. It was a nice run, GG, Shaq. It's my last stream, I'll kick last stream. I'm going out with a bang. Brother, you are not going out with a bang. It's gonna be a whimper. Sure, he survived this one, but if he keeps going at stuff like this, one of them's gonna get you. You're not, uh, it, it's just not worth it, okay? You know You know why? Because I don't know his name. I, I genuinely don't know his name. I mean, I learned it now after reading the article, yes, but a week from now, two weeks from now, I'm not gonna remember him. I, I, he, that And the, you know what's going to happen? He's going to try and raise the ante. He's going to try and do an even more dangerous skit. Maybe go near a volcano next. Fuck! Fuck the water's hit me! It's flooding! And another thing, as you can see, it's flooding. But look at the chat. The chat doesn't care about you. You're... you're, you're fans, your followers, you're just a circus for them, man. It, 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 is this really what it's come down to? Sure, you get your money, right? But like, you can't really use your money if you're dead. But then there's an article where he was interviewed about his little stunt. Here he says it wasn't a dumb stunt. It says here he's known for doing outlandish harebrained feats, including trolling people at McDonald's and on college co campuses. Yeah, that's that's real original content, right? Just um, no streamer's ever done that before, sure. So not only is the guy risking his life, he's a public nuisance as well. That's that's wonderful. But yeah, moving back to the hurricane, the one that left 160 people dead across six states. Oof. The man goes on about why he was motivated to make this kind of stream and in his words, it's something creative and new that the live stream industry hasn't really seen before. Guess what? Because he has numbers, now others will do it. And they did because later on we find out an OnlyFans model did the same thing in a Hurricane Hel Helena. Oh my god, it, like, it, it, it must be like one brain cell that they just hot potato past each other. Like seriously, this ain't worth it. it. It just ain't worth it. Now I know for some people they would say like, what's the difference between this content of streamers risking their lives over say the Jackass show or those magicians that put their lives on the line. For starters, it's more of a professional environment. They have a staff, a crew, they have paramedics on standby. So everything is still a risk, yes, but they have safety precautions. They're not just throwing their life away. Now moving from the hurricane streamer to 
This next trend that I really hope would just die already, uh, rot maxing. I recently learned about this. It's not like looks maxing. This one is about seeing how far you could push the decline of one's own health. It's uh, it's horrible to watch. I, I, I've, I've gone through many <laughs> videos looking through it for this video. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think I could eat food properly for a while. So there's that. The only rot I would ever accept is from Elden Ring. And even that was annoying. That entire rot level. So this is Sayako-chan. I, everything I learned about her is against my own free will. Uh, it was recommended to me on video, YouTube and TikTok. And I, oh my God, she lives with these cockroaches, like as if they're her pets. And the worst part is like the, the, the chat, the comments are motivating her to keep on going. And I wish I could show it to you, but her TikTok has been cut which is probably for the best in her case, because, well, uh, the thing is, she needed help, all right? If she genuinely needed help, anyone who's doing these kind of things to themselves in their room, um, it is a, a health condition, right? It, it, there's something mentally, uh, an issue there. But with social media, the comments that they, she was getting were like, yeah, my queens, yeah, keep going, slay. That just motivates a person, you know, to keep amping it up. So they'll keep amping it up, getting more likes and getting paid for monetization and whatnot. And it's never gonna end. And you're gonna get some serious health conditions when you're starting to breathe in asbestos or guano from the ceilings, God knows what else. They're like, they're treating her like this uh, because she's conveniently attractive. They're gonna treat her like, yeah, keep going, you, you slay queen. And it, it's just not right because uh, this ain't Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. This is just 700 cockroaches living with her. She's cooking the goddamn meal as if she's gonna be eating it with herself and them. Which, to be fair, they're probably gonna get some bites in. Or, God forbid, they, they've already dumped themselves into the bowl, so she's getting that extra protein. I, I just can't. I, I, I really can't. But yeah, I'm hopeful that she's getting help since her channel's gone and she's getting out there having a positive growth please I, I i just can only hope for that moving on to the next one this should be the last one and this is the one that's most recent is this streamer this streamer who has been pushing their <laughs> pushing their health to its absolute limits you might know them from that challenge they did like a month ago where they tried to go without sleep for 11 days straight yeah that's a good way to give yourself insomnia and they were trying to break the world record, except, well, in 1986, uh, the Guinness World Record stopped, you know, tracking that because it's dangerous. Who'd have thought? But something tells me he really wasn't looking to break the record because for starters, if you're looking to do something like this, you would research it, right? Well, what's the Guinness World Record? And right there, it would say, hey, we're not recording this, which in case, yes, I Googled it and they say it, so there's no way he did not see that. So my crackpot theory is that he did this not to break the world record, but to cause a scene that will get people talking. So he would get it to like 10 days, 11 days, right? And he stopped and boy, did people talk about it. A lot of uh, big YouTubers talked about it and yeah, that will just motivate him to keep doing it, I guess. Uh, even USA Today, wow, that's... Great, um, but yeah, uh, in doing so, uh, Twitch banned him, which, all right, yeah, that makes sense. It's just that didn't stop him because now he's doing one month in solitary confinement with no lights. Solitary confinement is not healthy. It is used as an actual punishment for criminals. And even then, some people are like, this might be a bit too much. 
this man is doing it to himself for clout and i'm gonna be honest i don't think he's gonna be making too much because the people that are watching right now are in the double digits like 27 watching yeah um it, it's really dangerous man it, it, it really is like as you could see here he's been going on for a while now it, it, it just goes on I don't know, man. I, I really hope he doesn't push himself to a limit where he can't recover from, you know? At the end of the day, it's it's decisions like this that you're permanently stuck with for life. Like, I remember Mr. Beast counting to like 100,000. That was a video, 23 hours worth. Yeah, um, it is actually a fun fact that this was the first Mr. Beast video I've ever seen. 322. 624, 22, 625, 22, 626, 622, 626. Yeah, that's a blast from the past. It definitely is. God, I wish I could go back to the old days. Uh, but we're going to keep on marching towards our doom here, huh? So yeah, I'm going to end it here. If you're ever thinking of starting your own YouTube channel, TikTok, Twitch, whatever, please, just, just don't. I, I understand the market is saturated. You can't play games or cook or whatnot, and it just won't get noticed. Just don't do this. It really is not worth it. Especially with the fact that these people who are risking their lives, you don't know about them like a week from now. I, I really don't think it's it's worth it at all. Like, whatever. I'm done. Peace. See ya. That's all there is.